There we go. Ugh. Here's Jonathan's second week. Remember, he had trigeminal neuralgia when he came in with, but I don't think it's that. I really think it's a TMJ issue. He had a station two issues. He had sinus issues. So it all kind of leads to a TMJ issue. We adjusted his jaw. He had an injury when he was young at four years old. TMJ. Here's his thoracic adjustment. You guys listening? Out more. Push out more. <laughs> Ear adjustment. There we go. He came three and a half years ago. Here's his early x rays, and here's his recent ones. Check them out. There's some differences. Woo! Wee! What was that like? <laughs> okay, with uh, Jonathan, and uh, Jonathan is getting his first Atlas adjustment today. And uh, how nervous are you, sir? 10 out of 10. 9 out of 10. 10 out of 10. <laughs> 10 out of 10. How sweaty are your palms? <laughs> okay, we want to take our time because he is nervous and that's fine, but we don't want to force it to be adjusted. We want to allow his body to relax. I want to move the joint, not the muscle. He's pretty relaxed, actually. What was that like? Mm, that felt pretty good. <laughs> this is the side that he has most pain on. He's been suffering uh, pain over here for quite a while, and so we're going to just right frickin' through it. <laughs> <laughs> that's the spot. So we come right off the mastoid process, slide right down onto the atlas. It's very small contact area. You gotta stay focused, stay right, laser focused on it. As I move his head, it kind of starts to disappear. So you have to be right there. Oh, that was exactly, yeah. So we're gonna work on his TMJ right now because uh, this left side, we've been adjusting his atlas and it's going okay, but it keeps kind of coming back. And so it sounds like a TMJ problem. I'll let you guys watch. Okay, so we're set up on the jaw here. I'm just gonna get this in pressurized. You feel that? Okay. Good. I went a little bit. You guys heard that? Good. I heard it. <laughs> well, of course, I saved the worst side for last. Sadistic. Yeah. Sadistic. I'm gonna get right on this though. He also says he has some teeth pain too. His teeth are twisting. Open your mouth a little bit, please. Good. You feel this side way more. It's way tighter on this side. Ugh. It didn't move. There we go. Ugh. Do you feel that, dog? Mm-hmm. I feel my jaws pulsing. Right in here. Okay, right in here, baby. Woo-wee! End of two weeks with this guy, uh, Jonathan. Uh, touch and go last week. He ended up staying another week uh, because he saw the value of what we're doing here. Um, but let's turn it over to... Jonathan, and tell us what this experience has been like and how you feel. Uh, I feel pretty good. Uh, like you said, the first week was kind of seeing what was wrong with me. Second week is trying to work through that and change the posture. The first week is more like breaking you down, telling you what's wrong. Second week is fixing those things. So it's kind of why I stayed the second week. It's the value that I saw in it. Yeah. Because um, leaving the first week, you'd be like, okay, I know what's wrong with myself, but I. You can only do so much in one week. So, so what did you learn this week? How, was there any game-changing things that you learned this week in the second week? Um, yeah, a lot of the, uh, like, how to do things and how to sit, walk, stand, stuff like that. Yeah, and drive. <clears throat> drive. Sleep. Sleep. So we taught him all this stuff in the second week. And you're going to why did you not tell him in the first week? Because the first week is really about, I call it trust. He has to kind of trust the stuff I teach him. And he didn't. He would say he did. He's a smart guy. He wants to trust, but there's still a certain level of trust that needs to be built in that first week. And so, again, like he said in the beginning, it's breaking you down the first week to build you up the second week, sort of. Just learning the new posture, kind of seeing, uh, seeing how much that you don't realize how much you've adjusted to your pain. So you do a lot of things that you don't know you do because if you do it properly, it would hurt. So putting me in that right posture, everything you want me to do, and say, oh, this hurts. Okay. And then working from there, so yeah. I thought that was. Just Tell us how much better are you overall? Uh, from day one, probably like upwards of like 60, 70 percent. Okay, gotcha. How's your neck pain been? Um, we worked a lot, obviously. <laughs> Here, worked on that a lot. I, I'd say it's gone down quite a bit. A lot of the uh, the stuff that I was getting right here has really subsided. Gotcha. And the pain on top of his head, behind your eye. What is that? How's that been? Um. The, the small flashes that I get, they're not as intense. They're just a little dull. See, he's been dealing with the cold. He coughs. He's been coughing on and off. Oh, yeah. And when he coughs, it increases the intrathecal pressure, which increases the pressure on his spine, which gives him a little bit of this visual context thing. Low back pain? 
Um, zero. Sleep has been... <laughs> it's a funny day to do sleep because I look like I didn't sleep. Sleep has been good. It's, uh, I feel like my sleep has been deeper. So that's like the, the biggest thing for me. Stop, stop, stop. No, I fell asleep on my back and I woke up on my sleep. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Try it. Yeah, just make sure you're on the same page as Dr. Thayer here. It's, and what's, what is the same page? That's a good question. It's a lot of work. So make sure you do what you can do so that you guys can move forward. Um, speaking from experience, it's funny to be asking me because I probably messed up a lot of times and this guy was getting mad at me, so my bad. Make sure you're on the same page as him doing your homework, your icing, um, whatever it is that's specific to you to either do or not do. <clears throat> so that way he has something to work off of, you know, moving forward. Because if you don't do those things, it's kind of hard to, I don't know. How many times do you do what I told you to do? All the time. We tried, right? Well, yeah. yeah. But I, would, I guess I can say I tried harder sometimes than I did. Yeah. Just understand, guys, it's a, it's a process and be willing to have an open mind, listen, learn, and move forward. Do not come lazy. Do not come empty-handed, ready to dominate here. I haven't done much thoracic work on him, but I'm going to loosen up here a little bit. I want to do a little bit of work down here because he always is complaining about his low back just a little bit on his walks. Not terrible. So I wanted to loosen this up for one last visit here. Can you breathe in for me? Guys, listen in. Out, out more, push out more. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! Okay, we're doing um, C3 just on him. Uh, we always we did plenty of the Atlas work on him. We've done uh, some TMJ work. We've done clavicle work on him. I haven't even shown all this stuff this week. We've done shoulder work on him. But the uh, TMJ, his little TMJ on this left side, we realized that he had problems when he was a kid. He got clocked. Uh, at four years old and he felt his jaw ever since then he remembers it vividly what happened um, So we know that that was probably the impetus of this and that was what 35 years ago <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, He seems to relax a lot more after this one and there you go. Excellent Woo! Oh. That was a deep motherfucker that was, yeah. <laughs> His left TMJ absolutely is awful. Terrible. Let's let you guys watch that. All this in here, he'll tell you how painful it is. We're gonna just tense this up, put some tension on here. You can see I'm using my supportive hand to kind of create some stability here. And then right in here, oh, he loves this. And all I'm doing is stretching right now. Right in here, we're gonna get in here in just a second. I'm gonna come right in here. I'm gonna set this thing down. Yeah, see? The right side goes pretty good. You can see he doesn't cry nearly as much on this side. We're also gonna get his ear. He has some uh, uh, hearing kind of sensitivity in the mornings, it says. Clogging the left ear, so we adjusted his ear this morning. I'm gonna do his ear here. There we go. One. And he said he wanted the other ear two to go. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. 